Let's go to the U.S. southern border, where more than 19,000 unaccompanied migrant children are in U.S. custody, although the Biden administration says it is moving hundreds a day out of Border Patrol stations and tent facilities. Manuel Bohorquez went to Central America, where most of those migrants are coming from, adults and children alike, fleeing those poor countries heading to the U.S. border. And this morning, Manuel is in Guatemala City after talking to some people who are considering making that journey themselves. Manuel, good morning to you. Good morning. The Biden administration is making a push here to tell people that the U.S. border is not open and that they should not leave. But the dire circumstances some are facing far outweigh any official demand and smugglers are readily available to try to profit off their desperation. As we traveled through the Guatemalan state of Alta Verapaz, we couldn't help but notice signs appearing to advertise smuggler services on the side of the road. Trip to the USA, financing available. So we're about to call the number that was written on that sign to try to find out what exactly they're offering and how much it costs. Zero, one. Hello, bueno, como esta? She confirmed it was the right number, but when she asked who I was. Mi nombre es Manuel. Yo soy uh, periodista de la cadena CBS, CBS News. Nope, no answer. But people say it can cost tens of thousands of dollars, often borrowed. 19-year-old Francisco Cook made it all the way to Mexico City before he ran out of money to pay smugglers. ¿Qué piensas hacer? What do you think you'll do? Pues lo que pienso es ir allá a trabajar. So you think you'll try again? That's because, like many here in the town of Kampur, poverty has been worsened by back-to-back -back hurricanes. It's not just Kampur. Many remote farming communities like this one have suffered the same fate. The scars from the storms still visible. The crops they rely on destroyed. The man who owned this home told me he's run out of options and is considering leaving for the U.S. But the U.S. government has put out radio messages warning people not to come. No pongas en riesgo la vida de tus hijos por falsas esperanzas. So you've heard those ads. Esas, sí. esas uh, transmisiones, usted las ha escuchado. Hemos escuchado. Yo pueda no que, quiero, si, pueda yo, que sirve eso. Sí, you think sirve it'll work? Sirve mucho. Muy peligroso. Winter Kukba sí, is the mayor for this region. I asked him what he would tell Vice President Kamala Harris, who has been tasked with addressing the immigration crisis. Sería bueno, pero que, que venga aquí en el municipio. Porque, you want her to come here. Sí. He wishes the Biden administration would offer temporary work visas to Guatemalans who need them and in the meantime says he has been urging people not to go because of the dangers of the journey, not only to adults, but sadly to children. And we are seeing yet another disturbing example of that along the U.S.-Mexico border. Take a look at video released by Border Patrol showing an agent coming across a crying boy near the Rio Grande. He is 10 years old and says he's been abandoned by smugglers. And you can hear in his voice just how scared he is of Afraid, he said, of being kidnapped or robbed. He is now in government custody like thousands of others. Officials say that he is from Nicaragua and is yet another example of the dangers of human smuggling and the desperation of families who are willing to put their child in the hands of strangers. Gail. No, Manny, I saw that little boy this morning. He still got his baby teeth at 10. You were still so young. Do we know what's going to happen to him? I also heard that he has relatives here. The fear in that little boy just well, really got to me. Oftentimes, they do have relatives they're trying to reach. As for the boy, we haven't learned any additional information from Border Patrol. But as you know, he will be processed. And if there is someone in this country, in the United States, I should say, uh, that can take him in, uh, eventually the government's goal would be to reunite them. As you know, it speaks to the desperation. And thank you again, Manny. I just love watching your reports, the way you translate on both sides so that everybody can understand is really, really masterful. Thank you so much. Thank we'll, you. We'll see you again.